Hey everyone, watch the movie Natural Born Pranksters with me and the guys live in your city. Watch the movie with us, hang out, questions and answers, photos, and much more. Check out the link in the description for details. I hope to see you there. Oh, I was supposed to wear a gray shirt today? Oh, man. Hold on. I, can, I think I can fix this. Better? Do I fit? Like I said, a little bit of practice. No, looks good. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. So you want to know how to prank. Today we have Magic of Rahat with us. Hello. And he's going to show us 10 awesome pranks by using magic. Alright, so basically this magic prank, all you need to do is get a shirt that is uh, stained. You know, you're going to go around like, oh man. I got this like really bad stain on my shirt. But luckily, I know magic. Watch. Just like that. I got a brand new shirt on. But how did you do that? Well, I'm gonna get onto that right now. What you're gonna do is kind of roll it up, just like that. And you're gonna take it, put it over your neck, oh. just like that. You're gonna put your jacket back on. Basically, I like this that. just gets hidden. Yeah. That's it. You know? And then, so why do you close the door? Do you need to have a hide or what is that? You no. do need a little bit of cover because without, the, without you know, hiding and doing the trick, this is how it actually looks like. That doesn't look magical right. at all. Is there a way you can like turn your back to them and do it? You can kind of do it. Um, and this is how that looks. Oh yeah, that's way better. You like I think that? I like that more really? than the door. Let us know in okay. the comments below. Do you like the door cover or do you like him just turning around? Could you tell right away? You know, watching the magic trick on camera is much different than actually being in person and experiencing yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. in person in real life you get tricked versus yeah. if you're on camera you're gonna spot it. And think, Aha! Totally. I mean, that's the thing. Like, But you don't do magic on camera, you do magic, like the best magic in right. your life, right? Yep. Yeah. And one little tip, uh, because I don't really have the undershirt uh, as a v-neck, if you wear a v-neck, this will be better hidden because this oh, yeah. kind of gives it away, okay? If you wear a v-neck, this will be better. With a little practice, I'm sure you can figure out how to trick and fool your friends and family. All right, for this magic prank, do me a favor, uh, choose one banana. Like picking one out? Yeah, it doesn't matter, just yeah. not really. Okay, uh, take it off. All right. Okay, cool. Now place it between your hands, okay? Like this? Yep. One other banana. All right, here we go. Watch. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is it getting a little warm? I don't know. Like between your hands? A little bit? Yeah. Perfect. That's that's where it's it's working. It's it still warm? warm, yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Do me a favor. Unpeel the banana. <laughs> Whoa! How did you do that? Look at that, dude. How did you do that? And if you look at any other banana, there is no other banana like that. And I just picked. I honestly just picked you a picked random, a random banana. one. Yeah. And you could choose. Okay. So then, what's the trick? All right. So, so make the reveal. <laughs> show us how to do that. So basically, this how is did you do that, really dude? simple. What you're gonna need is a set of bananas. You're gonna get a pen. Okay. Yeah. This is the method. This is pretty cool. You poke a hole, and you're just gonna work it back and forth, okay. just like that. Okay. And that's the last one. Okay. okay. You do that to all the bananas. No, just one of them. How the, do you know which one so I'm gonna pick? The banana on your, on my far right. You, it's closer to you, oh. okay? So you're more likely to choose that. And it has the sticker on it, so that kind of influenced your decision. Really, is that yeah. what happened? So. I didn't think anything about the sticker, <laughs> I just picked the first banana. Now the thing is, like, you know, you chose that, that was perfect, you know, that worked in my favor, and I was like, okay. What you happens know what? if I would pick a different one? So here is the out for that. So let's say you chose that banana, okay? okay? Which is not the gimmick banana. Right. Perfect, okay? So what I'll do is, okay, you I unpeel take this it. One. Uh huh. Okay, so that's not the banana that you know you wanted. I wanted. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Hand me that banana. Okay. Now, I am gonna do something crazy with this banana. Okay. I'm gonna have you 
hold on to that banana. Oh, so you that's the, give me the banana back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, and then you'll take that banana and cut it. Yeah. And then you give me the banana that you already picked. Totally. So, so it's two options. You have yeah. a safety, and then the one that's magician's choice, where you manipulate me mm -hmm. into picking the one that you want me to select. If I don't select yeah. it, you'll take it from me, and then you will pick out the one. And that the thing is, like. Okay. The wording is very important in this because I never mentioned like choose one banana and that's the one we're gonna use. I just said choose one banana. Yeah. You know? Be very natural, nonchalant. Yeah, you're manipulating them. Exactly. Yeah. And boom, you chose the right one. That's I was a like, cool all right. freaking prank. So this magic prank involves people thinking that you're double jointed. Ooh. Here, do this with me. Put both hands out. All okay? Right. Now cross them together. Alright? Now turn them and interlock them and make sure your thumbs are pointing down, okay? So, here we go. Watch, do the same thing as I do. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I can't do that. You can't? Tr try it. <laughs> you wanna learn how wait, wait, that's wait, how stuff? How you do that? Well, let's, let's, let's teach them. All right. All right, here we go. So, again, how did you do that? This is how it's done. That's Basically, it. put your hands out, okay? Crisscross them, <laughs> turn them, interlock them. Now, here is where the magic happens, okay? When I'm like, oh, and make sure your thumbs are pointing down. Oh, you This is where I switch. So, instead of my arm being on top, now it's on the bottom. Okay. So, it kind of looks similar, you know? Yeah. And now all you have I'm to do. I'm not even paying attention now. Exactly. And all you have to do uh. is simply twist. For this prank, Rohat's gonna show us how to levitate, and this is one I've always wanted to know how to do. Tell me how high I get, okay? Dude, that is awesome! Isn't that good? Did I get high? That's awesome. How do you do that? I've always wanted to know how to do that trick. You really wanna learn this? Yeah, I wanna do that, because that's like, I've seen it so many times. I don't know if I wanna teach this. Do you want me? It's probably uh, stupid easy, too. So, this is how it looks from the front. Basically, it's just that. You're just oh my standing gosh, on your toes. That's it. Yeah. Now the thing so is, it's all about the angle. It's all about the angle. You have you don't want anybody standing in front of you because at that point, yeah, it's not gonna work. But if they're directly behind you at kind of almost like a 45 degree just angle. Just so I don't see you're on your toes. Exactly. Okay. This is gonna look like pure magic. Whoa! Yeah. That's awesome. And you can you can actually do this to a crowd of people. Like I've done this to like Four or five people just standing there. They all just shoot back. Yeah. Like I've seen those videos. Exactly. Well, the thing is, like, if you step a little bit further back, this is gonna look really good to them because the thing is, you just have to play around with their angles, and once you do that, boom. Yeah. And then they ask what you did. You just keep walking. Let me try. Just, yep. Go ahead. Hua la la. Hua la la. Hua. Did it work? Yeah. You could see sure. it? For sure. Did it feel like it was real? It was awesome. No way, dude. Uh, that you was went a bad a, one? You went a little too high. Does that look good? That look good? That look dude, that's so much fun. You could do that so easy. I'm excited to see this next prank because I have no idea what to expect. All right, ready? Yeah. Watch. You know, I, I don't really like the orange Tic Tacs. I went to 7-Eleven the other day. They ran out of the white ones. Here is a, a simple solution to that. Watch. Just like that. Whoa! That is awesome. How did you do, let me see your hand. Go ahead, examine it. Hold them up. How did you do that? You want to learn? How did he do that? Do you guys know how he did it? If you knew how he did this, put it in the comments below. That is the simplest thing Simple, in the right? world. You just color the front. That's all you do. No Simple way. Simple as that. This is such an. Oh, this is such an easy, fun prank you could do literally anywhere. You're gonna get some white Tic Tacs because this works better with the white Tic Tacs, and then you're gonna get an orange oh, dry man. erase marker. You can't really use any other color only because it's not gonna look right on uh, behind the, oh, actually man. in front of the uh, white Tic Tacs. Orange works best. So you're gonna hold it to where you use your four fingers to cover one side and you use okay. kind of your thumb and the palm to cover the other okay, side. Okay. And one little tip, you wanna have this kind of moving because if you have it still, this doesn't look right. Yeah, when they look at, that's why I was mm -hmm. saying at first, I, could, I just thought they were orange. Right. So you want to but when I started looking harder, I was like, well, what's going on? But right. yeah, if you're moving you're it moving and you're it. fast. Perfect. 
Wow, this is awesome. Let me know what you guys think about this prank in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you think it's cool to watch me change the orange into white. All right, this magic prank, you're gonna convince people that you have a bouncing orange. Watch. You gonna make it bounce? Yep. Try it out. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, I broke it. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work with that. Can you, does that only have to be an orange? It, get the potato. Let's get the potato. Okay. Yes. So this is how it's done. So you're gonna drop it onto your hand and what's gonna happen is you're almost like you're almost like slapping it back up, okay? okay? So it's kind of like, boom, just like that. But you don't want to put too much movement into that hand because that's gonna be kind of a, a giveaway, but it's almost like a slight kind of tap to Okay. It. Yeah. Magic pranks work best in real life. On camera, you can spot things that you wouldn't typically see in real life. So I'm gonna try to make yep. this potato bounce. So I'm gonna go. Kind of like that. Did you see it? It's all your hands. Damn. Oh, this table's too low. It is pretty low. I'm gonna have to make mashed potatoes here in a minute. That was a tough, I'm gonna try a little bit harder. I didn't get a hard, high enough bounce on it. Ooh, man, these potatoes are tough to bounce. Oh. Oh. Ouch, that hurt. Now, magic is all about angles. You need to get the right angles. And also, practice. Please practice this. Ah. Ah, and pick lighter fruits and vegetables. Yeah. My goodness gracious, you got a kiwi or something. These potatoes hurt your hands. Do me a favor, hold up both your hands, okay? Kind of like this. Um, face me. A little bit, a little bit towards now. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. You're right-handed, okay. Put your right hand down. Take your hand, close it into a fist. I got some ashes over here, okay? You can take a little bit of it. Now watch this. You might feel this, okay? All Watch. Right. Gonna rub it. Just like that. Okay. Is your hand getting warmer again? I feel something. You're feeling like something, a right? Feeling, little yeah. feel. It's getting warm. So it kind of disappears, just like that. Open up your hand. How did you do that? How Look did that. you do that, dude? Nice. Well, that's good. I have an ash right there. Well, let me teach the guys at home how to do that. Okay, how do you All do right. this? All right. Basically, what you're going to need is you're going to put a little bit of the... You're going to actually put a lot of ashes, just like that. Okay. okay. And you're going to just kind of hide that kind of nearby. Right. You know? Not even paying attention to yeah. it. Yeah. And you're going to tell the person, uh, hold both your hands out. What, what's going to happen is you're going to come over and say, oh, you know what? A little bit lower. Ah. That's where it happens. Okay. okay. So they don't think about that no, when they're the, reconstructing this. At all. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then I tell them, are you right-handed or left-handed? Oh, so you marked both my hands. No, just one. Okay, I'm right-handed. Yep, you're right-handed? Okay, put your right hand down. Okay? So it looks like, you but know. What happens if I said left hand? Then I would say, uh, put your left hand. But then the up. ash is, yeah. oh, then you say keep mm -hmm. your left hand up. Now you can so go. So you're always <clears throat> going to say, you're always tricking the person. Right. By making them think they have choice, you're gonna force that. But hand. in reality, you're forcing them to choose yep. the way you want them. So you right hand or left handed? If I said left handed, mm -hmm. then you said, okay, keep your left hand up, drop your right hand down. Right. But I said right handed, you said drop your right hand. Oh. And this works better with like cigarette ashes or just you know any sort of because we just burnt a little piece of paper. This doesn't really register that well on camera. Using something darker looks just looks. Perfect. Yeah. And another salty. This is great, dude. So this is the next magic prank. Um, right. This is a levitating cup. This is how it looks. Oh, nice. Whoa. That's so cool. So this is this is the secret. Oh, that's, that's all it that's is. So easy. Yeah. You just stick your thumb. And again, magic. You need to properly use your angles and kind of hide the fact that you're using your thumb. Now, there is one little issue. You have this hole in the back of the cup, and if they want to examine it, this is how you clean it up. All right. So this is where, let's say you come back, you do the levitation, boom. Now you just destroy the evidence. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's the way. That's the way. All right, so this is the next magic prank. So when I'm at the restaurant, this is how I pay for my food. 
So I take, this is actually money. It, it doesn't look like it, but this is it's paper. It's paper. I consider it money. Well, I'm gonna actually turn it into money. Watch. Okay, place on the, the towel, the napkin, wherever the case may be. Take it, roll it up, just like that. You need, do you uh, know any magic words? Abracadabra. Perfect. Bam. Just like that. You can actually see that it turns into a $10 bill. Bam! It's vanished. And it's gone. This requires the, uh, the use of a napkin, piece of paper, and your bill done nomination. But what you're going to do is kind of fold it up. Just like this. Same way that paper was. Yep, hot dog style. That's going to be placed with kind of the flaps uh, opening up towards you. That's going to be placed underneath. Bam. Okay. okay. You're going to take your uh, piece of paper. Okay. Show, you know, hey, normal piece of paper. And the thing is, you don't have to use base, uh, this piece of paper. You can use like a, a sugar packet. And then you're going to it, switch it out. Yeah. So basically, you're going to uh, kind of place it over the uh, the dollar bill or the ten dollar bill, and you're okay. going to flip flop it. And you're going to flip flop it. So you're going to kind uh, of pinch the um, money. you can kind of feel the the money. You're going to take it, pinch it, and you're going to roll everything here. This is where you need to make this flap come over, and that means that the it's towel is switched. pretty much switched exactly. Do your little magic gesture, abracadabra. Give me some magic words, yeah. If you know any other magic words besides abracadabra, let us know in the comments below. Bam. So, and... and get yourself. Okay, so then how did you get the paper to disappear? So, the paper to disappear, simple. All you have to do, this is the cleanup. Drag it, and you show. And then it just drops. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a... How do I not see that drop, though? Or well, really? it happens really quickly. Bam. And you're, okay. if you're in a I'm restaurant... I'm looking at the money, I'm looking at the towel, Absolutely. I'm looking at my friend, you're mm -hmm. cleaning it up, and I look back and... Yeah. Okay. Here's another magic prank. So... I'm gonna make tissue disappear in front of you. All right. Are you ready for that? Yeah. All right. Watch your hand. Uh, perfect. Okay. So, let's see. Kind of, oh, a little bit lower. Perfect. I'm gonna kind of crumple it up, okay? All right. Uh, put your, uh, put your other hand. Are you, are you, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, now put that, put that over, over like this, okay? And put it over like this, right? Open it up, watch. Alright everybody, if you want to watch more magic pranks, go check out Magic of Rohat's channel, subscribe to him, watch his videos. Let us know what you thought about our magic pranks in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, live inspired, shock the world, and we'll see you next time.